Greetings, everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday afternoon. We're getting the weekend started off right here, right now, with another exciting toy review. This time, we're taking a look at the Transformers Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Sunstreaker. And I'm really excited to have this figure in front of me. Uh, this is actually the first Transformers figure that I have purchased in about two years. Um, I actually got rid of my entire collection about a year and a half ago and did not think that I would ever uh, collect Transformers again. I've seen the Combiner Wars figures on store shelves, and uh, I passed them up. And recently, uh, I saw Trailbreaker, and I was just really impressed with the uh, design and the sculpt of the figure. And I happened to be in another store out of town, and I saw Sunstreaker, and I was just like, man, I've got to have that figure. And I'm really glad that I picked it up. Uh, I'm really impressed with the, the overall sculpt and, and just the features and, and the design of the character. And uh, really, really thrilled to, to have this figure. Uh, you guys can see a couple of boxes on either side of Sunstreaker. And uh, we'll be doing reviews on those uh, in the coming uh, days going into next week. So before we get into the actual uh, review of the figure, I wanted to talk a little bit about the background and history uh, of both the character uh, and the action figure as well. Now, Sunstreaker was one of the original G1 Autobots and Transformers. Uh, he wasn't always featured as prominently as some of the other Autobots were, uh, like Prowl or Jazz or Bumblebee, uh, but Sunstreaker has always played a part in the overall uh, story arc of the Transformers. He was really... Uh, an egotist, uh, really thought highly of himself. You know, he, he was real flashy. And uh, in a lot of ways, he reminds me of Jazz. Uh, and he was extremely difficult to work with. Uh, the only other Autobot that he would really get along with was Sideswipe. Um, when it came to dealing with Decepticons, he was just extremely cold and ruthless. Uh, he was a, a very, very effective warrior. And part of that stems from the... Uh, the fact that he used to be a Decepticon. Uh, so I find that really, really fascinating. Now, the uh, the original uh, action figure was designed for the Diclone toy line uh, by a Japanese toy designer named Kojin Ono. Now, Mr. Kojin stated that uh, he considers uh, Sunstreaker to be the first toy design that transformed from a car into a robot. And I really found that fascinating. Uh, you would think that it would have been Optimus Prime, but it wasn't. Uh, it was actually Sunstreaker. Uh, in addition to the G1 uh, toy that was released, uh, there was a convention exclusive in 2003 of Sunstreaker, and then uh, a few years later in the Alternators line, he was featured then. And, of course, in 2008 with the Universe 2.0 line, uh, there was a Sunstreaker toy that was released with, with that series. And most fans today and collectors consider the uh, Universe 2.0 figure to really be more uh, accurate representation of, of the G1 figure itself. Uh, I would agree until now. Uh, seeing this figure in front of me, I would have to say that this figure uh, really rivals the Universe 2.0 uh, as an accurate representation uh, of Sunstreaker that we know from the G1 series. Uh, it's really detailed. Um, it has the best head sculpt of any Sunstreaker figure that I have ever seen. Uh, so I'm really, really excited uh, about this toy. Now, this particular figure stands seven and a half inches tall. Uh, he's two and a half inches wide. Uh, it was done in a light metallic yellow paint scheme with uh, silver and black accents. Uh, you can also see some red accents on his shoulder which is an homage to the, uh, to the G1 figure, and uh, just a really cool design. Now, let me show you guys the, uh, the packaging, and I'll pan up so you guys can, uh, can see it completely. Uh, on the front, you see uh, Sunstreaker is featured in his alt mode of Lamborghini Diablo, and that's a really cool evolution uh, of the figure, uh, as seen the original G1 Sunstreaker uh, was a Lamborghini Countach. On the side of the packaging, uh, you see a picture of Optimus Maximus in his combined form, and it shows that uh, Sunstreaker 
is one of five Autobots to form to create that character. Then on the back, we have another uh, obligatory product shot of Sunstreaker. The really fascinating thing about this photo is that uh, they used a deeper uh, yellow tint uh, on that particular figure. And that is really uh, a more accurate representation of the G1 Sunstreaker that I remember. Uh, I really like that paint scheme, and I wish they had used that on the production figure. Uh, nevertheless, uh, still a really cool-looking toy. On the right-hand side, you see a diagram of Optimus Maximus and the five Autobots required to create him. Uh, these, uh, these combiners use a uh, Voyager-class figure as their base. Uh, in this case, it is uh, Battlecore Optimus Prime. Uh, then Sunstreaker, Mirage, Prowl, and Ironhide are used to uh, combine to form Optimus Maximus. Also included in the packaging is the instruction sheet. Really nice design. And as with all the... Uh, Generations toys, which the Combiner Ward are a part of, you have these uh, comic books that are included. Now, these comics have an exclusive cover uh, where Hasbro commissioned these artists to design a cover that will be exclusive to the comics included with the toy. If you were able to go out to a comic book shop and pick up this particular uh, comic series, you would not find this cover on it. I really love how they portrayed... Uh, uh, Sunstreaker on the cover of this one. I mean, it just looks fascinating. I mean, it, it's just really, really detailed, very in-depth, and, and a very, very uh, great piece of artwork there. On the back of the comic, again, we see those same uh, product images, but over on the right is a uh, unique bio of Sunstreaker uh, as told by the Autobot Rung. And I won't go into detail and read that. I'll let you uh, pick one up and read it for yourself. Uh, but it's really, really interesting and, and fascinating how they put that in there. I, I really like how they included that. Now, looking at the toy itself, you can see that he has an extremely detailed head sculpt. As I said, I believe this is probably the best head sculpt out of all of the action figures. And... Uh, I like the yellow on the flanges on the side of his head and the blue paint for his eyes. Uh, really unique. Up on his shoulders, you see these panels extend up. The original G1 figure had something like, I think, rockets mounted on his shoulders. Um, his arms will move uh, forward and back and laterally. Um, that uh, elbow is connected to a uh, double ball joint, so his elbow will move in and out, and it will... Uh, it will also swivel. Uh, his wrist is, is just an extension of his forearm, so there's no, no swivel there. Uh, he has waist swivel right here, which is really cool. Uh, that really aids in, in poses. He has uh, really good ball joints uh, where his uh, legs will move at the hip, forward and back, side to side, and his knees will, of course, pivot. Uh, there is no foot joint at all. Now, if you look on his back, you see the original uh, G1 Sunstreaker had the same feature, which is his engine. Um, and that, that's a really cool feature. I'm glad they included on this figure. And what it is is the engine is, actually turns into that cannon and is pegged in right here underneath the, the hood of the car. Now, taking a look at it for a minute, it has a peg on it, which, of course, he could hold the cannon in his hand or it will mount on top of uh, the vehicle uh, when it's transformed, but it also serves a, uh, a third purpose, and that is it is the hand of Optimus Maximus. Uh, that joint is the, uh, is the thumb joint, and if I flip his fingers out, I can uh, pivot his hand around for you to take a look at. Now you see right here is a, uh, a peg for the weapon, that he can hold. And I've been told, I think the uh, Legend series, Autobots turn into, into weapons for the larger Transformers, I think. And then, of course, a blaster extends out over his, uh, over his fingers. And there's the peg where it plugs into Sunstreaker 
uh, when you combine him. Uh, so that's really cool. I don't really get into the whole combiner thing. Um, to me, that's more of a gimmick. Uh, I just collect them for who they are, you know, the Autobots and Decepticons. You can see his primary weapon done in a nice silver uh, paint app. It's a blaster cannon, but it has two grips. And the reason for that is if you take it out of his hand and use this grip, you can use it as a sword because the bottom of the blaster is that. So that's really cool. Now his feet, uh, they closely resemble the G1 uh, figure as well. And also this black part right here on his leg. Um, so that's really cool. So to transform him, you want to straighten out his arms. Turn his head around like this. You want to untab the chest piece like that and flip it straight up. Come down here and flip up his feet. Turn it around and flip up the back part of his foot support, which is the spoiler on the car. On the top, you want to untab the, uh, the head piece, and it's held in by these, these two sections on his shoulder. And... You can see right here where there's a hinge, and you want to bend that all the way in until it won't go anymore. And his head's going to go up into the uh, into the hood of the car. And the bottom scoop panel right there is going to uh, tab in like that. You want to flip his arms up like this. And then bring them straight back. They kind of pop into place like that. Then you can bring the front part of the car down and it's going to tab into that gray section right there. Then you can bring the windshield down. For the legs, this black section right here slides out and down like that. And you want to do the same on this side. And then they will uh, tab into, well, door panels like that. Okay, there we go. And there he is in alt mode. And that looks really cool. And he's got silver on his uh, on his rims, silver paint for the uh, the lights right there. And just a really cool appearance. Love the way the car looks. And then of course you can take the uh, the cannon and mount it on top of the vehicle like that. And that looks really cool. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Transformers Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Sunstreaker.